Hey guys, as camper sales are out the roof right now, new and used, I want to take this opportunity to show you some of the modifications and improvements that we've done to our 2011 Flagstaff. 12 to be exact, most of which are very inexpensive and easy to install. Check it out. Okay, one of the first things we did was added these toothbrush holders. Now, when we bought the camper, it had the small toothbrush holder over here with a, a hole for a cup. Again, this is a 2011 model, so these toothbrushes would not even fit in the four holes it had. We don't use a cup, so we had no reason to keep that. I took it out, and this is a two-pack of stainless steel, and they're, they're really nice. They're solid stainless steel wall mount. I used two-sided tape to mount them and it came in a pack of two and it was about $14. Pretty inexpensive and a very easy install. Another upgrade we really liked are these LED RV replacement light bulbs for the vanity. They are low voltage, but man, they are bright. They do a great job. I think they're brighter actually than the ones that were originally in here. You couldn't just grab an incandescent bulb either uh, without it burning your hand and uh, they don't get hot at all but plug right in, fit perfect. They work great. They come in a pack of two. I bought two packs. I have three there, works great. Next is this Oxygenix handheld sprayer kit. This thing has a lot of pressure and even when it's on 12 volt, when you're dry camping, you're just using the 12 volt pump, it has really good pressure. It, I think it's designed more to save water, but it has a long hose, it hooks right up, and has this mount and uh, we've actually been talking about getting one of those for our house it just has such good pressure excellent buy this one was about 42 dollars i think so that's probably the most expensive upgrade that i'm going to have here on the video okay next is the body wash and shampoo dispenser this thing is well worth what we paid for it and i believe it was just over 30 dollars not bad but I got tired of knocking down the shampoo, the conditioner, my body wash, my wife's body wash, the razor, all this. We're trying to stack in these shelves here. And you know, the shower in an RV is pretty small. So this has saved a lot of heartache and a lot of aggravation by just having the stuff here. You just take it right out, you fill it up and stick it right back up there and it's good to go. Okay, next back in the bunkhouse, we have a cabinet. And this thing is pretty tall. It's a little over two feet tall, I believe. And we were constantly just making a mess because you couldn't separate anything. It didn't have a shelf in here. You'd stack, stack it full of towels or whatever, and you just couldn't pull one out without making a mess. So I bought this shelving. It's, it's wire shelving or metal shelving, but it's coated and I didn't use any of the attachments that come with this type of shelving. I just cut it with a hacksaw, and let me see if I can turn the light on. There you go, you can see it now there. I just cut a couple pieces of wood and used four screws to attach it. This piece of wood here, uh, the siding or the wall is pretty thin, but four short screws was all I need. I put it on both sides, and it's not going anywhere. It'll hold anything that I'll put on there and we can keep our towels and everything separated and not make a mess every time we go into this cabinet. Okay, next, the adjustable drink holder. You can see I have one there, mounted on the wall, and one here. I got it open so I can show you. It will hold a larger cup. You see that it expands there. It's plastic. It doesn't feel like it's real durable. And when, you, when, when I first got it, I'm like, man, that, that thing might break. It's not, it's held up, it's held up great. I've had it on there a couple years, uh, you fold it up out of the way and it works great. Without those, there's nowhere to set your drinks when you're sitting here in the camper or on the couch. Uh, the other option is over at the table or if you're sitting over here, nobody has anywhere to put uh, a drink, so now you do. Those things are pretty inexpensive as well and I believe those are just like five to seven dollars, but we put two there and I actually put two also in here on the side of the bed one there and then one over here and the remote control holder these things they're wood the wood accents and they're on amazon as well i believe they're uh, sold by camco or made by camco but they are pretty inexpensive 
and again it's two-sided tape and uh, I use the Gorilla two-sided tape it is 30 pound tape and these things aren't going anywhere uh, if you can see this I'm moving the wall with that I'm not moving this off the wall at all it's on there it's not going off and I put one right there beside the bed one of our latest upgrades is the XM radio docking station has been removed and I added a Bluetooth adapter. This is a wireless Bluetooth adapter. And basically what I did is just put out the XM. I took it all off. This is the, the actual mount for the XM. And uh, this just pops right off. And you can see the four screws. You take those out, all this comes out and you can access the wires back here. So I found where the XM plugged in, or the docking station plugged into the stereo, I unplugged that. This thing plugged right in, and there's a power cord for it. The power cord is behind there, goes right down to behind the TV, and plugs into the wall there. There's a port for it to come out, work perfect. And this piece of plastic here is a piece of ABS plastic, uh, that I also got that off Amazon with, for some more projects. I had a little bit left over and I just cut a piece to put there to attach the Bluetooth adapter to. And this piece of plastic is cut to fit this hole. I hot glued it in and then I used the Gorilla two-sided tape to attach the Bluetooth adapter to the plastic. And just tried to dress it up so that it, it looked as natural as possible. I mean, obviously it doesn't look like it's made for that, but uh, it doesn't look real bad either. I didn't want to take the whole thing out and try to make something new to replace that, to fill that big hole. Uh, this looked okay and it works great. So now we're playing music off of our phones through the stereo using this Bluetooth adapter. Now the Bluetooth adapter is about $24, I believe, not a very expensive upgrade. And that's all I needed to buy this extra piece of plastic I had left over from another project. This bottom shelf right here tends to be where we keep our phones and where we charge them. And I decided to install this receptacle a while back so we can use our charging cords to plug in here to charge our phones and not worry about having the charging blocks there. We can use those receptacles for something else. A pretty inexpensive upgrade and not too hard to do. Okay, this screen door crossbar handle. It doesn't look like much when you're installing it. These in pieces slide in and out to allow you to put it on different size screen doors so you're putting it together and, and it looks kind of flimsy but i'm telling you it works great and as we use it to pull the pull the door shut never had any issues with it. it's been on there a couple years and it's still holding strong at about 15 bucks is what i paid for it okay the rv vent insulator these things are awesome they have a reflective material on one side and almost looks like a pillow on the other side it's very soft and cushiony but uh, several inches thick and it works great it just fills that hole fills that void up there and when you're at the beach or wherever the sun is beating down it's amazing how much heat that thing keeps from getting inside the rv it keeps the rv much cooler and those things are pretty inexpensive too i'll put links to those as well in the description below. Okay, I would imagine absolutely nobody would probably guess what this is for. Maybe so, I don't know. People think outside the box like I do, you may know what this is for. This is a half inch dowel, and I put a small dowel there in the end. And that's basically just to give you something to hold on to. And the purpose of this is to go in this hole right here. So oh, just a half inch hole. The hole don't go all the way through. It just goes all the way, as deep as I could go without going all the way through. And there, your sliding door is locked. First of all, there's nothing over here to grab a hold to really on the other side if somebody wanted to come in. Just this. Uh, these, uh, I think they're called bulldog locks or whatever, man, those things have never worked for me. Some, some of them pulled out of the wall here. You can see that one's bent, but I just got tired of that. And if you have kids like we do that don't pay attention to anything, they don't knock, they just come barging in. It doesn't matter if you're changing clothes or whatever, 
they'll come barging in so um that's a lock that's not going anywhere that's that's good and secure and i just put a little hook up here and hung them up out of the way now these sliding doors are offset so i'll go to the other side this one is a little bit shorter because this door is closer to the edge than the other door but i just made this one a little shorter works the same and the hole is right there in the same spot all right guys that's it i just want to show you those 12 things i did inside the camper easy and inexpensive i have links to everything that i can there in the description below more camping related videos to come i've got several other projects and modifications that i've done here on the outside of the camper that i want to show you as well thank you so much for watching guys have a great day